If you're moving some serious data in your home lab like I am, or you're running an SMB with local hypervisors and storage, you definitely should be looking at this NGenius multi-gigabit switch. This switch has four 10 gigabit SFP plus ports and eight two and a half multi-gigabit ethernet ports. Today, we're taking a look at the NGenius ECS 2512 multi-gigabit switch. I had reached out to NGenius to send this over for a review so I could test it out in my home lab setup and really put the switch through its paces. I'll be connecting my ESX hypervisor as well as my Unraid and TrueNAS servers to this switch with the 10 gigabit SFP plus ports. I'll also be utilizing most of the two and a half gigabit ports for studio machines and other PCs. As we buy faster and faster storage, we definitely need faster and faster networking. Most modern NVMe SSDs can vastly outpace a gigabit ethernet connection. And if you work with large video files like I do, you can end up being bottlenecked by gigabit networking. The two and a half gigabit standard allows reuse of generally most existing Cat5e and Cat6 cabling. There aren't any issues there. This will allow you to go above and beyond one gigabit and enable more bandwidth with a new switch and new network adapters and the same cabling. Now that many newer motherboards are coming with two and a half gigabit networking, it makes even more sense to make the jump for the extra speed. I didn't end up needing PoE for my application, but the ECS 2512 actually does come in a PoE variant. This would be very helpful if you had faster than gigabit wireless access points and certain 4K or even potentially an 8K future security camera, as well as any other PC or machine that needs more than gigabit networking. The management functions on this switch are relatively well thought out and implemented. I was able to do pretty much everything I needed to do with the local configuration. For a switch such as this, I really see it being positioned in an SMB type business setting. Ease of configuration of VLANs and of course overall management setup are pretty much the biggest opportunities to impress. In order to configure VLANs, it did seem like the web GUI required two types of configuration on two different pages, both the 8021Q and the PBID pages. This was a little bit strange, but it was pretty easy to get through and set up a couple of test VLANs. Other than these not being combined on one single page in some way, but it was pretty easy to set up. I see this being pretty important for SMB type businesses that do have VLANs configured. In terms of management options for the ECS 2512, you are indeed able to configure, operate, and install new firmware on this switch without ever registering the switch with the NGenius Cloud application. It will work just fine and requires no internet connection or connection to the cloud in order to function. That being said, NGenius has really made a name for itself in the industry for creating and supporting remote management tools for the NGenius networking devices, which make it extremely easy to manage NGenius switches and access points with the cloud interface and the mobile applications. Whether you're the person in the office who kind of knows computers and was basically stuck with being the IT guy, or the professional IT guy at an MSP managing a fleet of NGenius switches and access points, you'll probably really enjoy the easy setup, registration, central management, and features of the NGenius Cloud does offer a standard free cloud experience, as well as a paid or enhanced cloud experience. Usually after you hear the words cloud subscription from an influencer, your first thought and immediate reaction is to close away and find some other video to watch. But hold on, NGenius isn't gating off any core functionality of this switch. So without the cloud account, you are still getting access to two and a half, 10 gig switching, radius authentication ability, access control list, QS functionality, monitoring, and a couple of other items. The pro licensing or the cloud subscription option will offer more historical logging data, which is kind of nice depending on your needs. You can also have an unlimited amount of administrators, which is also neat, meaning many IT employees can have an account and hop in and help out when configuration or support is required. This is admittedly probably targeted towards MSPs, but it is a feature worth noting. With the pro licensing, you're also going to get enhanced logging, richer notification statuses beyond offline or online with the mobile app, and you get priority support with Ingenious as well. 
In terms of functions specific to Ethernet switching, the Pro license can also let you create config templates for new deploys. You can store cloud backups and restore from the cloud as well. Packet capture functionality is also enabled with the Pro subscription, which is very nice for troubleshooting. And you're also going to get a couple other network topology features and diagrams with the Pro licensing. In my testing over the last few weeks, I found this switch to be very stable and performant. I've tested all of the four 10 gigabit per second ports simultaneously with tons of traffic running across them, as well as testing all of the two and a half giga ports at the same time set up with different VLANs. As I mentioned before, my usage for this Ethernet switch will be functioning as the core switch in my home lab. I've got a couple of ESX hosts attached, as well as some storage systems, both TrueNAS and Unraid. In terms of 2.5 gig clients, I do have some newer Intel machines that have 2.5 gig NICs attached, as well as one that I'm testing out a Silverstone 2.5 gig NIC with. Everything pretty much ran flawlessly. The local and the cloud GUIs are very similar experiences, which I really like, and the NGenius Cloud2Go app is extremely convenient. As I mentioned, you definitely do not need the cloud subscription for management and configuration of this switch, you can hit a local web GUI in order to configure it. But it is nice to know that if you do wish to add this switch into your NGenius Cloud account, the configuration is generally speaking pretty much the same. Since I do run a 42U rack, I did choose to rack mount this ECS 2512, but it could just as easily have been sitting on a shelf or somewhere in an office. In terms of the sound output, the fans weren't really too bad. Typical enterprise networking gear is significantly louder. These fans, though I probably wouldn't want to sit directly next to them, are relatively quiet. If you have a use case for 2.5 gig connections to your workstations, and then a couple of 10 gig connections either to storage servers, hypervisors, or other 10 gig switching infrastructure, this is definitely the type of switch that I think you should be looking at. Overall, I enjoyed working with this switch, and I think it's going to be quite the value-oriented contender in the multi-gigabit with 10 gigabit connection market. This switch, as I mentioned, has eight 2.5 gig networking ports, and it has four 10 gig SFP plus ports, which would really come in handy for some kind of local compute, storage, or networking uplinks. So if you're in the market for a faster networking switch because you've upgraded some your PCs and or your servers at your small or medium business or even in your home lab like I did, the ECS 2512 switch should definitely be on your list of considerations.